Hi everyone, welcome back to the Macbay Channel TV. We are Atletico repping. Had to, you know, had to respect the city. Go to the game tonight. We're about 40 minutes away from the game. Atletico Madrid versus Real Sociedad. You can see some Madrid fans. We well, could before. Another right at the back. I think I missed them all. There they are. Some red and white tops in the background there. Not Sunderland, right? And I, I had to get that in. Well, his, he's got one there. Had to get that in. I think that one looks alright. Nice. Do you know what I mean? I tell you what. If we come here next season, the Champions League, obviously it won't be supporting these. But in terms of the clubs in Madrid. Real Vallecano, obviously the smaller one, that seems like a hipster I want to support. Real Madrid, obviously two obvious, two big time. Galacticos and all that bollocks. So Atletico Madrid is the one, is the one to support. Trippy has X team, do you know what I mean? And uh, the is meant to be immense. It's about 10 minute walk down there, so I'm looking forward to this. Gonna get a, uh, get a cheap Domino's right now. But you can see that Domino's there, 4 99 The kid's standing right in the way of it, but 4 99 for a medium pizza. The cost of them in the UK is a joke. Spain's the way for them, I'm telling you, that's what I'm saying, Madrid, Atletico Madrid fan TV, coming soon. But we will be here next year, hopefully. I'll be buzzing if we get Real Madrid or Atletico Madrid in the Champions League because this is a class city, I've absolutely loved my trip. And I thought I'd take you with me on a little match the experience for the La Liga, for La Liga tonight. Interesting team news, Griezmann starts, Carrasco starts, Corky starts, Jimenez starts. Big players for Atletico Madrid. Um, and then you've got Real Sociedad. Mick Almarino, ex Magpie, Mick Almarino playing there, and good old Soloff, the ex striker who played in the Premier League as well. So this should be a cracking game. Hopefully, be a brilliant atmosphere. I'm really looking forward to it. I've never been to a La Liga game. Um, so I'll take you along with me. Third versus fourth in the league, their final day of the season. Vamos! <laughs> Look at this, we're seeing James Park. Look at this little stand outside, selling beers and ice buckets. Class. Spanish policia behind me there, ready for anything to kick off against Madrid and Sociedad. So you come in from up there, little security check, scan your e-ticket, and the concourses are absolutely massive. Wow, how down here. But how big is this? <laughs> Also, can't do this in England as well. 
take a little cheeky dominoes into the stadium. Yes, yes, look at that. I just uh, took the sticker off, showed it to the camera and let win. How good's that? <laughs> Shows out. Rain started. Brilliant. First time I've ever seen umbrellas at a football game. Brollies all over. Up there we've got the old press box. Nice view, I see that one, mate. Good view for them. A very different half time to England. It's got people smoking away. And uh, unlike England, there's no queues for the toilets. Not much queue for the bar and that either. So much better the Spaniards with the concourses, yeah. Obviously, Athletic Madrid is a newer stadium. So, not sure what it's like elsewhere, but yeah, very good. Let go Madrid fan TV. <laughs> Right then people, apologies for that vlog ending abruptly there at the game. I showed you lots of footage from inside and outside the ground. I wanted to capture the closing stages as well and us heading out of the stadium. 60,000 people heading for a metro there. It was a bit mad, but it was very good. I've got to say the Spanish metro system is very, very good. It's a lot better than the underground, which I suppose isn't that hard. But you know, it's very cheap, very organised. And uh, we got on that no problem. But it was a fascinating end of the game as well. You know, Soloth, who I mentioned at the start of the video, he ended up... Grabbing a consolation goal for Sociedad, that's all it was meant to be as uh, Adat the Golden Madrid came out 2-1 winners. Of course, Anton Griezmann scored. What a privilege it was seeing that bloke score in the flesh. Seeing him play, man, he's an absolute baller. French legend, he's still got it, he was still doing bits. Some impressive performances from the likes of Jimenez and the Paul. You know, some real top talent on show there. And for my first Liga game, I was very, very impressed because, you know, you see... A lot of people are saying that these leagues, the, the Spanish League, the Italian League, aren't what they used to be, if you like. But for me, I was 
I was really impressed. I thought it was some fantastic play on display, especially second half or at the first 20 minutes, 30 minutes. There was a bit of frustration amongst the Atletico fans. You know, there wasn't much nice football being played. I know Simeone is a very passionate coach, gets aggressive, gets involved. We've seen that on the touchlines. And, you know, he has been known to frustrate people, the dark arts. That's where Eddie Howe, the Castanet manager, apparently learned it from because he did go over to Atletico Madrid and study off Simeone during his time off between leaving Bournemouth and joining Newcastle. So people have said he took hints off him. And that's obviously where he planted the seeds for Trippier to join Newcastle because Trippier, in his podcast with Jay Humphrey, said, you know, when Eddie Howe turned up, he said, next time you join a club in England, next time you get appointed as a manager, keep me in mind as I want to move back to England. So that's what he did. That's how Howe brought him home, Howe brought him back to England. But back there, I'd like to go to Madrid. What a fantastic night it was. I thought it was an amazing, amazing experience. I couldn't recommend it enough. Those tickets, I think I mentioned it, maybe 50 euros. Good seats, as you've seen throughout this vlog. I thought they were really good seats, good location. Obviously, we did get a little bit wet, not as wet as the people in front. Um, the weather was so hit and miss. It was lovely when we were going in, and then obviously the, the, the rain came. That's what it's been like this week in Madrid, actually. Uh, yeah, the weather's better. Back in the UK, obviously it would be when I flew to Madrid. <laughs> but um, overall... Great, great experience, really was. Uh, thoroughly enjoyed it. The stadium is amazing. That Metropolitano Stadium is fantastic. The spacious, the concourse, the queues, the entry system, the, the beer, the food, everything, the seats, the atmosphere, how close you are to the pitch, the surround of it, the big circle around the roof. Outside, it's lovely. The walk to it is, is great as well. I can't recommend it enough. Honestly, my experience there, pff, I give it a good 9 out of 10. If, if the weather was better and maybe the game had a bit more, it would get higher, but I, I thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed it. It was an amazing... The first time I've really watched football abroad properly, I went as a young star. I think I've been to Barcelona and stuff, but, you know, now got a real taste of it and obviously I'm thirsty for it. I'm going to taste a lot more of it next year. I really, really hope that Newcastle need to draw Atletico Madrid or Real Madrid in the Champions League, because I want to go back to Madrid already. I want to go back to these games because it's a fantastic city, lovely city, great place, great people, great food, and the stadiums are amazing. The clubs, lots of history, uh, very passionate supporters. So I really hope we get to play one of those teams again. And like Anthony Gordon song says, we're all going to Madrid, and I hope we get to go back soon. But for me, amazing. And I have to say, there's some funny little traditions in there for for the Spaniards. You know they eat these things called pipas, sunflower seeds, and they're everywhere. They are everywhere on the seats, which is mad. Um, they just stuck in them, eat them, spit them out, and they're just everywhere on the ground. Must be a nightmare for the cleaners. But uh, the sunflower seeds is what they like. We like the pucker pies and the bovril. They like the sunflower seeds and the beer. I tell you what, good combination of both, to be fair. You've seen us eating Domino's pizza and drinking beer. You, the, the, um, the way they are is just class. Really, really good. Much more laid back and, and, and better, in my opinion. So that's what... The Premier League can learn off the league and English stadiums in general. I think the Spaniards are doing it better than us. You get a better feel for it. And um, there's just a bit, bit more of a fun to it, I suppose. And yeah, it was amazing. Really, really top class experience. We thoroughly recommend it. I hope you've enjoyed it as well. Subscribe to the Mike Blind Channel TV. And I'll see you on the next one.